Hi YouTube family, a pleasant good day to each and every one of you. When I was in Guyana, my sister-in-law used to make these amazing cheese sandwiches for snacks. You all know when we go back to Guyana how crazy we go for the Guyana anchor cheese and the tennis roll or the Guyana anchor cheese and some crackers. So I brought back a piece of cheese with me and I'm going to be making some delicious cheese sandwich for my children lunch box today so come on down and let's make this together and here I have some of the ingredients here for the cheese sandwich just simple ingredients I have my anchor cheese here we already devour about half of it I have some mustard here some spicy mayo I'm gonna go in and spike it up with some food coloring to make it eye-catching for the kids. So let's get down to these sandwiches now. So for this sandwich, we're gonna need a nice big piece of cheese. And I can cut this cheese just like that and snack on it. The Anchor cheese, I believe, comes from New Zealand and they have one of the best cheese. Look at this. Every time I cut into a piece, I gotta eat a nice portion of it. You want a piece, Natalie? Here. For all my Guyanese friends living abroad, Anchor cheese, this bite is for you. So satisfying. I cut here about a good pound or three quarter pound of the cheese. You can do less if you like. To get a nice consistency, you wanna grate the cheese. In my food processor, I'm gonna put the cheese in there and break it down to a nice smooth texture along with my mustard and my spicy mayo. I'm just cutting them into smaller pieces so they can quickly break down. To give an accurate amount of the mayo that I'm using today, I will measure it. For all the viewers who may be looking for a measurement, so this is a half a cup of measure and I'm gonna add the half a cup of spicy mayo in here and that will help our cheese to smoothly blend so we can have a good consistency. And when you add the spicy mayo, you don't need to add any pepper or any spices to the cheese filling. We're gonna go in with our mustard and about a tablespoon of mustard. And you can put the amount to your liking. Let me put this up here so look how nice and smooth our cheese mix is beautiful and smooth I'm gonna transfer it to a mixing bowl and then I'll show you how we prepare our cheese sandwich that's how easy it is once you have your mayo and mustard you can add anything to it the mayo is spicy enough so I don't need to add anything else in this batch, I will be adding a few drops of green food coloring just to hype up the color and make the sandwiches pretty. This one looks like guacamole, right Natalie? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go in now with some red food coloring for another batch and I think one of them we're gonna keep it yellow so just a little bit of the food coloring and mix this in we're now looking for a sharp color but a nice mild color the more you mix the more you will see the color stronger in the cheese mix so I'm using white bread for this recipe because it shows up very nicely with the cheese inside. I'm a big fan of the whole wheat bread, but for this particular recipe, we're gonna use the white bread. I'm cutting out the ends, but I'm not throwing away the ends. I'm gonna feed the birds with the ends. 
So now we're gonna go in with our spread and nicely spread it out on the bread. We wanna add enough to really beautify this sandwich. And big shout out to my sister-in-law, Sabrina. While I was there, she made breakfast for my kids every morning and they enjoy every one of the breakfast that she made for them. Every day she came home from work, she would bring them a snack so, and they always look forward for that. So those are things that they will remember her for. And this is what our sandwich will look like, beautiful. Isn't this so satisfying? And these are great for lunch box. They're great for parties and they're great for picnics. They always show up on a kid's birthday party in Guyana and they're amazing when we go for long trips. So when you have leftover cheese mix, don't sweat because this is great for the kids lunch box. I have some celery here, so they're getting some veggies. I, I also have some carrots and i have here some wild wonders tomatoes and these are the mixed tomatoes they have yellow they have the brown red all different colors these tomatoes are great snacks for the kids as well so let me show you another trick on what the kids love in the celery stem here you just line the middle with the cheese mixture and this goes for a great snack for adults for kids for the lunch box and the kids are getting in some veggies like that. So I'm gonna do a few with the different colors and I'll show you once I finish. And the good thing about it, you can get the kids involved to help you prepare their school lunches because when it's things that's colorful and things that's fun, they enjoy doing it for themselves. So Natalie is helping me to do the celery sticks and we can always dunk the carrots into the cheese mix. This is a healthy, happy lunch for the whole entire family. And after all this nice preparation, we can't have water with that lunch. I made them some nice homemade sorrel, and that's gonna wash down everything well and beautiful. This is nice and cold. This, their school lunch today, I'm gonna have some for my lunch as well. And voila, my Guyana Anchor Cheese and some additional veggies a beautiful lunch today so if you were a kid and your mom gave you a lunch like this for school and you were not a big vegetable eater would you have eaten this lunch there is cheese dips to go with the carrots the celery and the tomato and the sandwiches look as beautiful as i can say my kids are very happy for this lunch here I'm going to be happy as well because it's a beautiful combination. Let me get some of the results from this lunch. So Natalie is going to give us her opinion on this. Natalie, let me see what you're going to dig in for. The sandwich? Okay. Mm, that is really good. You like it's it? It's nice and spicy and it reminds me just like Guyana. Yeah, Auntie Sabrina sandwich. Yes. Nice. How do, how do you like your veggies? It looks very colorful. Mm -hmm. and, and very inviting, right? Yeah. Okay, so enjoy Natalie. Thanks. You have your sorrel, so grab your glass of sorrel. Everything is colorful Cheers. on your plate today. Cheers! How is it Natalie? It's really good. It's really good. You like it, Jeff? Yeah. Okay, I'm glad. Enjoy, guys. Matthew, how enjoy. about you? Yeah. How is it? Okay. Bye guys. Thank you for watching and hope you will give this cheese sandwich a try. If not the sandwiches, you can also make these cheese spread for your veggies and your kids and family will enjoy it. Plus it's healthy and it's hearty. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.